Greetings programs. Captain Trips reporting. All right. You know why you're here. You're here to get one of these midsummer pets in 35 minutes. Um there's a there's a couple caveats to this. Um first of all, it's very very ideal for you to be a mage. Um uh, I'm not going to say this is a mage only um, uh, route, but uh, it absolutely helps if you're a mage. To, 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 to really nail it down in this 35 minute time frame, you really need to be a mage. Now, I mean, I, I like mages a lot. Um, in fact, 25. Where are we at here? 25 of my 49 tunes are all mage. So. Because I like mages a lot. So here it goes into the mage, and then it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Yeah. So 25 of my 49 students are mages. I love me some mage action. I am all that is mage. That being said, this is not solely a mage route. Um, one of the aspects I love most about mage are their ability to port anywhere and because of that I've tried to implement those ideals onto other classes of mine as much as possible um, getting all the cloaks that port you to Ogremar, rings that port you to various locations uh, anything that I can get for a tomb that is not a mage that is a portal I will do because that just makes it easier getting around so uh, Let's do this stuff. I'm going to get the stopwatch out. I want to see how long this actually takes me. Uh, okay. Uh, first things first. You want a queue for the Frost Lord thingamajig. Alright. We'll queue up for that. And the very first stop on our list. We're going to start in New Dalaran. And we are going to go to Suramar to pick up two... Things. Two burning blossom shipments? I don't know what the hell I'm going to call them. But there's going to be two spots in uh, Suramar where we pick up burning blossoms. And uh, that's where we're headed first. That is our first locale. Lucky cow. She, uh, she blends in pretty well with this mount. I don't like she's meant for it. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Where are we at? Am I going a little long? Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's a quick cue there. How about stop? It? Woo! Woo! Right in. I like that. Let's hope it keeps in this positive direction. Everybody's in a hurry to get there. I like that. There's some for us, buddy. <laughs> Cloth scavenging. I forgot I was a tailor. I remember when you used to have to pay for that. Back in the day. Yeah, I'm 
doing real good. It's also important that it's the first time of the day that you've done this, so you get the full credit and this quest. That 20 is important. That's part of that 350 that you gotta get. And some more, up to up to 10 out of this, I think. 12, nice, very good. Let me turn the quest in. Ah, I've been expecting you. We'll take that one. Walk with the earth. All right. I've obviously done this a few times to get this route worked out, and that is the fastest that I've ever gotten my cue to pop while executing the route, which is nice, especially nice for this video. Going, 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 so close. This way? Where are we at? Okay. Now we're going to go to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Again, if you're a mage, this will be quite easy for you. Otherwise, uh, you can take a flight pack path back to New Dalaran and then take the portal to the Vale from there. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Now, after this, we're going to be going um, back and forth uh, you are most to welcome. Ogremar and then other locations. And then back to Ogremar to another location, back to Ogremar to another location. Um, because of where the portals from Ogremar are at, uh, we're going to be taking the Tolbered portals. We're going to go to the Toll portal, and then we're going to take two steps to the right and do the Ogremar portal. Now, this is extra useful in two ways, um, because this puts us right up on top of the rise where the Cataclysm portals are, which are the portals we're going to be utilizing, and later on you can be finishing everything up here to turn in the quests and purchase your pets. So the first portal is Oldham. And we're gonna take that.
asshole is trying to kill me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. What a fucking jerk. What an absolute fucking jerk. that guy is doing that. This is why Alliance sucks. People wonder why do the Horde hate Alliance so much and you know the truth is because Alliance are a bunch of assholes. I mean let's be real. That was complete dick move that that guy just did. Total dick move. Okay. That's why I'm bored. When I first started playing World of Warcraft, motherfucking son of a bitch. For 18 months, I was Alliance. For 18 months, I was Alliance. And Fucking asshole. For 18 months, I was Alliance. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck, dude? This is fucking ridiculous. Unfucking real. Just leave me the fuck alone. Fucking damn it, what a fucking asshole. I was Alliance for 18 months. And then I found out that you could um, send your heirloom gear cross faction. So I thought, well, eh, I might as well give it a shot, try it out, and I did. The attitude of people on Horde was so much better than the attitude of people on Alliance that I flipped the faction of all my Alliance tunes to Horde. That was how bad my experience with Alliance was versus Horde. And that little episode that you just saw absolutely proves my point. Okay, so the next one is Twilight Highlands. That's where we're going to go. And I'll be taking four minutes off of my end time. In fact, we're just going to pause it for the next four minutes. Because I'm not going to get cheated out of my video success because of some asswipe alliance. And uh, not to say that all alliance are worthless pieces of shit. But if you are alliance... You know, pretty much you're probably a worthless piece of shit. So, you know, that's just that's just my take on the whole alliance thing, you know. You know. Tug, tug. Farewell. And I guess ultimately that's why I hate people too. Because people just suck.
right. We'll now be going, of course, back to Tolbarad. Two steps to the right, Ogre Bar. This one's this one's cool. This is those there's there's a very few that are two and one, fifteen, which I love, and that one was so close. You gotta love that too. Right. That was Deep Home. And now we're gonna be going Mount Haija. Here's another double, which again I love these doubles, and they're, when they're so close like that, you're just like, thank you. Bam. All right, so we take off this way because we're gonna fly, fly, fly to Dark Shore. And then we're going to skip off Darkshore to Teldrassil and then Darnassus. Dur -dur -dur. So, the Thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent. This is my one claim to fame. Everybody has, well, I'm assuming, after enough years, everybody has the story of the one cool thing that happened to them in WoW. You know, I got this drop and I got that drop and blah, blah, blah. The cool, the way the cool story goes is sometimes people farm stuff forever and ever and ever and ever trying to get something to drop. And sometimes people who don't even know that a cool thing could drop go and kill something and have that very cool thing drop. The very cool thing that someone has been farming for weeks or even months to get. This was such an occasion for me. Timeless Isle had just opened up. We were all there. I was busy farming reputation and timeless coins, I think. It's been a long time, I can't remember. But, um, and of course, in the process of uh, farming rep and coins, um, you're paying attention when people in trade or, uh, or in the general chat are saying, you know, they have the little add-ons that say, when bosses are up, you know, and stuff. And so, of course, I was going and killing every boss that I could that was close to me um, because I wanted reputation and more coins and stuff. And so, uh, Hulon, I guess, if that's what this thing is called, I think it was Hulon was up. And so I made my way over to where I knew the spawn point was and everybody else was waiting. And Hulon showed up and we all started choppy chopping. And I looted the corpse after the kill, and lo and behold, there was the thundering onyx cloud serpent. So yeah, I was very happy. First time ever doubting Hulon, and uh, got the serpent. So I was super, super happy that day. 
And now, of course, I have one of those cool ultimate RNG stories. You know, that's what they are, I guess. Ultimate RNG stories. I don't have many. I have another one um, where uh, I, I uh, watched Want to Buy Gold. He's like one of my favorite gold farmer YouTubers. And he had a video um, where he was showing um, a transmog farm and other stuff could drop in Oldham. I think it was called Oldham. It's some old thing in uh, Blasted Lands, by Blasted Lands maybe. Um, and it's a horribly complex dungeon. Like, I remember running that dungeon, like, through leveling and stuff, and it's so maze-like, it's so complex in there, and I just hated it, because half the people don't know how to run it, and, uh, a quarter of the people only want to go and do certain bosses and then be done with it, and then, you know, and then a quarter, like me, want to try and get everything that we can for our bonuses or whatever, but we can't. Anyways, I ended up not liking that place, because it was so, you know able to get you lost and stuff, and, uh, so I didn't like it, but, uh, I'm watching, uh, Want to Buy Gold, um, do this video about it, and he had this pattern that he followed, and it actually looked fun, and that, that kind of stuff never, never, never looks fun to me, um, but it looked fun to me this time, and I went and tried it, and it was fun! I've never honestly done a transmog run, and I haven't done many, that was fun. Um, and here's the cool part. I, uh, I run it, and, and after the sixth time, at the very end there, before I open the, the discs and stuff, but I'm looting, like, maybe the second to last bosses or corpses or something, right there at the end, though, I looted the pattern for the star belt. And, uh, that was pretty darn cool. Um, but, as it turns out, the, uh, me looting the pattern for Starbelt, um, came with bad luck. And, uh, yeah, a, a lot of bad stuff happened to me after I looted that, that pattern. And, uh, I'll just tell you, I ended up selling it for less than a thousand gold. You heard me correct. Less than a thousand gold. It was a horrible bad story all in between, too. Anyways. So. We are done with Darnassus. And that means, according to my notes that I'm looking at here, we're going to go to New Galilad now. Here we go, here we go. Or, I guess, back to New Galilad. And this time, we're going to be going into the center, to the little lower portals in the chamber of the keeper, or whatever that thing is. You know, um, what's this thing? I can't remember his name. The guy who, like, is in charge of protecting the city, you know. Starts with a C, maybe? He's the guardian. Guardian of Dalaran. I really should know this, but I don't. Anyways, we're coming down here, and we're going to take the portal to the Weinrist Temple. And that is just straight dead ahead, right there. Bickety bang. Once atop the temple, we're going to go mount up, do a 180, fly off, and head to the right ish. Yeah, how about that? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to fly over here and get this one. Now, from this one, we're, we're going to want to go and hit two in Crystal Song Forest. Now, normally the way I've been doing things is I would get this and then I'd port up to Dal and then fly down to the tent pavilions uh, below in Crystal Song Forest. What I have done is just that and I've also collected this here, and then flown from here directly to the pavilions. And it turns out that this way is actually faster. That's because we're way over on the right-hand side of Dragonblight, and if we stay here and head this way, 
after we pass this little mountain, we're going to be at Crystal Song Forest. And I just go left and dip down, and we'll be right at the first of two of those little tent pavilion things. Um, Dalaran is way on the other side, the far end of Crystal Song Forest. And being in Dal, and then flying down through Crystal Song Forest all the way to the tents took a slight bit longer than it took to fly from that last pickup to here. So that's why I don't work. The dark times will pass. But now we do. <laughs> Which is funny, now we do port to North Rendal. That's weird, I can still hear my... We'll be going to the Caverns of Time. just up inside this building and through this part. Now there is a Caverns of Time portal in New Dao, um, but I'm going to be honest, I've never taken that Caverns of Time portal and I don't know if it puts you in this exact same spot or not. So I'm just going to take the old one. And we're going to take a oh, right <laughs> as soon as we come out of the cave and we're going to be heading over to Gadget Sand. I spent, oh gosh, so many hours up and down, up and down this coast, through these buildings, killing pirates again and again and again for that reputation. My goodness. The insane title is truly an insane rep grind. Okay, so on one side we got one pen, tent pavilion thing, and then on the other side, we got another one. Alright, now we're going to go back to Stenard, Swamp of Sorrow. I think I said back to, and we actually haven't been there yet. So, here we go, Stenard, Swamp of Sorrow. So, so now I'm the building, and you take a hard, hard left. And you skirt the edge of this mountain, and you'll find the entrance to the Blasted Lands. And we're going to go talk to this lady on this rock. She's going to use her magis, magic Greetings. to send us back in time. And you can just start flying. You don't have to wait for the uh, materialization there. As you can see, I just went ahead and So we pick that up. And we flippity-dippity around. And we're going to come to this one now. Return to Swamp of Sorrows again, right where we just came from. And this time we're going off to the right. To Bog Paddle. Yeah, bog paddle. Bog paddle, we're gonna pick up another 
two allotments of burning blossoms. From here, as we hit this guy, Blood and thunder, farewell. we're basically gonna go. Let's see, north by northwest, pretty much, up into Red Ridge Mountains. Yeah, north by northwest, bay over here. And we're gonna pick up that Des desecrate the flame. Have a nice leisurely fly to there. There's a great flames. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting here. We're going to zigzag north up this little line, picking up all these fives and tens, all the way until we get to uh, Rock Moded. That's the plan, Stan. Once we get there and pick up the blossoms from Rock Moded area, we are going to then go to Iron Forge from there, which we do west. These areas are a little sentimental for me because, like I said before, when I first played WoW for that 18 months, it was, you know, largely in Elwood Forest and Red Ridge Mountains, Dark Shore, or, yeah, Dark Shore, Dusk Place, I don't know, both of those places. Dark Shore and Duskwood, that's it. Sentinel Hill, all that stuff. Killing Hogger. I remember it like it was yesterday. But yeah. I just had too many. It might have been my realm, I don't know. Nobody was very patient on the alliance side of things. And everybody on the Horde side was so accommodating. It was like two different worlds of Warcraft. So I flipped him and I never looked back. I actually didn't know exactly how many mages I had versus other tunes. I knew it was a lot. I did not know it was just over half, though. 25 of my 49. That's a lot of mages. That's some mage loving for sure. Zug -zug. Zug -zug. And I, uh,. I've said this before, and I will say it again. Uh, of all the services that Blizzard offers, the one service they don't offer that I absolutely would purchase is a paid, paid class change. We've got paid race change. We've got paid faction change. We've got change your name. We got change your sex I want 
arcade class change. Doesn't seem like it'd be any harder. I think that would be hella cool. Because there'd be some... Some monks. And some death knights and some... Other things that I don't 100% like. Alright. This is when we go to the west. The west is the best. You get here and we'll do the rest. So, going to Iron Forge, we've got two two spots in this area. And one down here by the graveyard, conveniently, and then one inside the big one, the big money man, inside Iron Forge. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside Iron Forge first, and we're going to get that. Because we know that we're going to die in there, because that's just how it is. You can get in, getting out's a whole nother story. And the reality is, you know, a rogue probably could pull it off, you know, quite a bit easier. Or, you know, any stealthy class, I guess. But the point is, if you get all the way in the inside, and you, and, and you capture the flame... You know, it's like the time that you would spend sneaking out seems like it would just be better off to die and take red sickness at the graveyard. And in this case, taking the red sickness at the graveyard, where the hell is Iron Forge? For Christ's sake. Anyways, taking the red sickness seems like it's better because that's where the second pickup is. Are you kidding me right now? What the... For crying out... Blizzard! Just... just you're gonna hide stuff in mountains? Jeez. Alright. So you go to the gate. As soon as you get past it, you just push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. Stay up high. Shit, I got spotted. I'm gonna cruise. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Go, 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 go. You know what? You know what? You know what? It's okay. Made it this far. So I'm gonna have to wait an extra two minutes. That's okay, though. That's okay. This is what we want to do. Okay. So. Right down here in this little opening here, that's where we're going to be heading. And as you can see, it kind of angles up. So we want to try and hit that angle up. So again, remember, stay high, stay high, stay high, stay high. Because the guards don't come up here. But I gotta wait. I gotta wait till this is ready. Because I have a way of um, going about and getting this one so that I can actually get it and not have to try it multiple times or something. Or come through here again from the graveyard with res sickness. Ah, you know what? Where is that little tunnel at? I am actually... I'm gonna do this real quick. Just in case, baby. How close are we? 35 seconds. Jesus. Well. I'll take this time to remind everybody to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and this video and many more videos to come. Oh gosh, here we go. Okay. 8 seconds. That's good enough. Remember, we're gonna want to go down, go down, go down, go down. Oh god! And up, 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 right up there. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. I thought the game glitched. That scared me for a second. Up, up, stay up. Cause I don't trust these guys. Okay. Anyways, so you want to just hover right above the thing. This is how I like to do it. 
and then I'm gonna slow fall. And as soon as... Quite the tactician, are we? Yes, we are quite the tactician. Observe. And then do it. Got it. Arg. Did I fly out of here? Holy moly! Normally they get me. I'm gonna fly out of here. That's cool. No res sickness for me. Loop, swoop, and pull. I am out the toe. Woohoo! Yeah! Suck it, Alliance! Alright. Well, that's cool. Normally I have to take that little res sickness and do that whole deal. Okay. Back to Swamp of Sarks. And we're going to head to West to Duskwood. Six minutes. I guess under 40 minutes is still pretty cool. Provided I can finish in under 40 minutes. Four more minutes? Dang. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in four minutes. Really, I only have three more to get. He was probably jealous of my mount. That's why he attacked me in Oldham. That crummy, crummy, crummy alliance. Dirty, dirty rogue. Nobody can trust a rogue. I mean, that's why they're called rogues, right? Come on, let's be real about things. So I was here, I've, you know, I've done this a few times today already to get this, you know, pattern down or whatever for the video and stuff. I was here, I don't know, five other times and everything was legit. And then the sixth time I came through here and was picking up Goldshire. And wouldn't you know it, there were like four or five Alliance camping around the pickup at Goldshire there. Just so they could try and kill people that want to just, you know, complete this stuff. Really pretty crappy, in my opinion. See, like that. Like, I didn't get the, uh, I got it, didn't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot, asshole! Proving my point yet again. But I did get the blossoms, so that's cool. But I do now have res sickness. And this is why the Alliance are such worthless pieces of shit. And why Horde is so much better than the Alliance. 
At least the horde I know. The horde I know don't fucking hang out and camp shit and kill people. That's old school crap. And you know what? Old school crap is for fucking classic servers. This isn't old school. This isn't classic fucking WoW. This is the new WoW, buddy. This is where the fucking Alliance and the Horde are gonna fraction off into a third fucking goddamn faction before you know it. Some people's kids, I just don't know. Wish me luck. Got that shit. Missing something. Huh. I should have another. I don't know which one I'm missing. I got Stormwind. I went and got uh, Darnassus, right? And what was the other one? Well, this is really super awesome for the video. I'm really glad I'm drawing a stupid blank. Iron Forge. Did I somehow not get the one in Iron Forge? I mean, I don't know. It shows. I don't know which one of these are. doesn't say. Stormwind. Ironforge. Darnassus. Oh, they're here. I'm an idiot. It just wasn't up top. I had too many quests showing. Okay. So, yeah, we can stop the timer. But, yeah, that was one four. I'll say that was 142 of confused looking. Um, so yeah, there you go, 40 minutes, 40 minutes provided no asshole alliance makes shit annoying for you, like they always do, because, you know, they have small dicks. People with small dicks tend to do that sort of thing. Alright. I'm here finally. Turn in. No, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Alright, and I guess I'll get a blazing to the zone. I've been buying a bunch of these. Um, I've only sold one. Yeah, I'm gonna buy these. These are the new ones, so. The, it's either that or the Blades and Cinder Crawler. You know, it's your choice. Get a bunch of both. You know, save them, sell them, stock up, save them, sell them, save them, whatever, you know? Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful. I hope this helps uh, some mages out there farm up these pets in under 40 minutes. That's what I'm going to say this was, under 40 minutes. Alright, thanks again for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We will have more videos out for you soon. Thanks again for watching. Captain Trips reporting.